welcome back to another video if you're new here i'm adriana as you can see from today's title we are going to trader joe's for the first time ever guys literally my first time ever at trader joe's i've been wanting to come here for so long but i've been putting it off i don't know why but it's finally i'm by myself right now it's 7 55 at night i was like let me go to trader joe's it's probably a good time to go it's at night as you can see the city is looking pretty so i had a nice drive here i had a nice therapeutic drive with the music so i am ready to go in here and get some stuff so i'm excited to take you guys along with me so you can see how my first time at trader joe's goes so make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and let's go with trader joe's <laughs> ravioli so definitely gonna get these so i just got back in the car from Trader Joe's. it's 8 26 so i spent a little bit of time in there i was just kind of looking around i wasn't honestly expecting it to be that small of a market i thought it was like bigger but it's like kind of like the same size of like aldi's and stuff so not too bad so I got two bags worth of things. I didn't want to go too crazy because I want to kind of test out everything. And also I wasn't in like a desperate need to go food shopping. I just wanted to pick up a new thing, some new things. But one thing I really wanted to try and it was almost like one of the first things I grabbed was the brown sugar oat milk um, coffee creamer from here. I always, always get the one. I forget the brand. Um, what's the brand? Why can't I think of it right now? I don't know. Watch, it will come to me as soon as I end this clip, but I always drink the same exact oat milk, brown sugar milk, so I want to compare them to see if they taste the same or which one tastes better, because that one's only $1.99 for a little one. I know it's a little one, but the other one's $5.99, so I want to see which one is better or if they taste the same. So when I go home, I'm probably going to test that theory. I know it's coffee, but I don't care coffee doesn't have a time in my world because i just am obsessed with iced coffee but i rate trader joe's a 10 out of 10 so far i absolutely love it it's so cute in there i love how everything is set up um i'm sorry i didn't like actually vlog in there i feel like my social anxiety was a little up there because it wasn't as dead as i thought i thought it was gonna be dead but we are in the city so i have to remember that but um yeah there was a lot of people in there and they were playing music so i was like yeah vlogging is probably just not my best interest and people are trying to like hurry up because they close at nine and people are trying to like go around me. So I was like, let me not stand here and be in everybody's way while I'm vlogging and let me just montage it. So I'm glad you guys at least still got to see what I got and everything. I'm also gonna make a TikTok um, about me going today too. So make sure you guys go check out my TikTok. But yeah, Trader Joe's was super cute. I'm so excited to try some of the stuff that I got. I got a lot of like unusual stuff that I usually don't get at the regular market, but I feel like that's what Trader Joe's kind of is too. So I wanna, I got some sweets and I got some like um, prepared food that you just kind of like throw in the oven, some easy stuff. So, and I got cherries, what else did I get? I got these pancakes that look super, super good. When I get home, I'll like show you guys everything again. And cause I know I missed a few things I didn't record every single product. So when we get home, I'll show you guys and we'll do test the coffee and we'll try some of the snacks depending on what I want to open tonight. But yeah, let me go, let me drive home because my phone is on like 2% and I don't have a charger, so let me get my booty home before anything bad happens. You know how it is being a girl at night. So let me do that, and I'll catch up with you guys at the house. So guys, I just got home, so I have everything that I bought right here laid out, and I'm gonna try the comparison of these um, coffee creamers. So this is the one that I just got at Trader Joe's. And this is the one that I usually use. So they're both the brown sugar oat milk. So I'm gonna test them out right now to see which one's better. This is basically everything I got, butternut squash. I got these chocolate covered strawberries, these snacks, these, obviously two of those. These for my daughter. Got some everything bagels, some avocados, some avocado oil spray, some pizza sauce. I also got this. 
So I just tried it on my TikTok because I wanted to make it. Oh my God, why? I just spilled it trying to show you guys. Wow. But it's safe to say that this one and this one are pretty, pretty similar. I feel like this one is a little, little, little bit tinier, sweeter, but yeah. These butternut squash raviolis have been my favorite for years. I love making these, I love butternut squash. So in a ravioli form, it's just so amazing. And I just like make my own kind of sauce with oil and seasoning and it is so good. I got these everything bagels cause these ones honestly feel so fresh. Like I love when you can just tell that bread is soft and fresh. But these already smell super good. I can smell them through the bag. And I got, then I got these cherries. I love these and cherries. Then I got this avocado oil spray because I actually saw a TikTok like maybe two days ago saying how bad and how like how fattening olive oil is. So I really wanted to switch to avocado oil. So that is what I did. And then I bought this bag of avocados. And if anyone is watching this, can you guys help me? Because I literally have been buying avocados probably like the past like three times I went to the market and they just go bad because I don't, I never know when they're ripe. Like, I hate it. Like, I could squeeze it and I'll be like, I have no idea. Like, I don't know how they're supposed to feel when they're ready to eat. And I honestly don't know how to cut them either. Like, I always feel like I cut them all weird and it just messes up and I end up just throwing it out. But I don't want that to happen with these. So I have to either, like, look it up or, I don't know, figure it out somehow. This coffee is literally so good right now.